Hi, my name is Paul Albert, and on behalf of my colleague Terry Wheeler, I'd like to do a, an update on Reciter, something that I've presented before at uh, CNI. Okay, um, so uh, Reciter is a powerful NIH funded publications management system. It's designed for academic medical um, centers or institutions. Here's how it works. We use institutional identity data to create a scholar's identity. Uh, we retrieve candidate articles from PubMed. We use machine learning to estimate the likelihood a given scholar wrote a given article. And uh, then we collect feedback from faculty and librarians. Um, there's a set of web services built into Reciter that um, syndicates the data with downstream systems. And then the biggest changes that have occurred since the last time I presented relate to the, the web application um, where you can output reports and conduct bibliometric analyses. These are the components in the ecosystem. So in the top there, you have institutional identity systems, and these are used to construct the profile. They feed into a reciter application, which is um, excuse me, typically installed on AWS, but you can install it locally as well. Um, there's a separate uh, service which integrates with PubMed, and it, it takes data from PubMed and then uh, formats it in JSON and, and has some nice optimizations there. The data from Reciter um, is displayed in the Publication Manager web interface. Um, data from iSight, which is NIH's bibliometric service, is fed into Reciter as well. And then the data from Reciter is exposed to downstream applications um, like uh, our Vivo profile system, department and lab websites, and our faculty review tool. Um, so we have a lot of useful identity data about our people. So here's here's one example. And all these data can be leveraged in order to make high quality article recommendations. Um, here at Walt Cornell, we monitor output by uh, 20,000 people. I think it's like 21,000 now. Uh, mainly academic appointees, especially full-time faculty, of which we have 2,200 uh, postdocs. Uh, we monitor all our doctoral students' publications, um, residents for our affiliate hospital, and then members of the, our clinical and translational science center. Um, so now I am going to hop on over to Reciter so I can share with you um, what the user experience is like. I'm going to go here and switch for Leiden. Okay, so um, here's how uh, Dr. Leiden might curate his publications. Um, there are suggested publications here, and then users can accept them and then go into the accepted queue. Um, here, there's a um, bunch of, so this is this is the evidence score. A score of 10 indicates high confidence. And then if someone else, like a librarian, is trying to judge whether this article was written by Dr. Leiden, they can click on the show evidence and all the evidence is contained here. Um, okay, so that's kind of old hat. Um, what's new though is the, the, um, the reporting interface. So let's say that you're um, a departmental administrator or anyone really, and you want to see publications that were authored by both Drs. Leiden and Rafi. Um, and then you only want last authored publications. Um, you can click search. And so we have 172 articles. And now I can export to RTF. So this is essentially a Word document. And then I go into Word. And then all the, all the names are bolded. And so we have a heuristic which matches people to author position. That's one thing, um, and you know, it can actually print out like several hundred uh, publications. We can do this um, at scale. So if you wanted, if you had like a couple hundred person identifiers, these are all members of our um, cancer center. So I'm going to grab these um, these IDs. I'm going to go back to find people. I'm going to paste all of them in there. 214 people. I'm going to click on create reports. 
And this generates a report of all publications by all those individuals. I could further filter down by um, you know, author position or whatever, or I can sort by like, what are the most impactful publications according to NIH. Um, all these data can be output in the context of a CSV or Excel file. So you can get an authorship report or an article report. Um, uh, so that's that's useful. Um, and then there's also the, uh, I want to show you um, the, bibliometric, the bibliometric report functionality as well. Um, so I'm going to go back to Dr. Lydon. Quick search. So here's Dr. Lydon. Um, here H index is listed and H5 index. I can click on generate bibliometric analysis. And then um, it's actually here. And it's it generates, you know, pretty pretty instantly, um, fairly instantly. Um, so what we're doing here is we're outputting in a Word document the most impactful publications um, with subgroups by cases where Dr. Lydon's first or senior author position, or where he's any position. And then um, at the top here, this is a this is a summary statement regarding how. Dr. Lydon ranks relative to peers. Um, so that's what this that's what this uh, NIH percentile is. Um, and I, I won't spend time going into that. And then we also rank Dr. Lydon compared to peers that share the same academic rank. And at the bottom here, you can see that those um, that H, H index, and then you can see an explanation of what all I just described means. Um, another kind of nice functionality we've added is the ability to uh, send emails, uh, notification emails. So there are two types of notifications. One is when an article has been um, accepted on your behalf. So your faculty and someone else accepted one of your publications. And then the other case is where um, someone has, uh, or sorry, when there are pending publications for you. So there's a suggestion and you need to provide feedback on it. And um, this is what the notification looks like. So, um, we allow users to manage um, what the minimum evidence score for their notifications are. So if they only want to get the high confidence notifications, they can do so. OK, so that, that takes us through to that takes us through um, what I wanted to share with you. Um, I will say um, this is for our users. This application is only available inside the, the network, our network at the moment. We have different roles. I want to give credit to all these individuals. I want to um, also give credit to the, the people who funded us. OK, so that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to follow up with me at my email listed there check out the repository, check out the paper. Thanks very much.